Yo, there's no such thing as who's greater. Like, they say, yo, well, Jay-Z is the better rapper. Beanie is the better rapper. Jada is the better rapper. You know, uh, 50 Cent is the better rapper. Man, we can go on and on. Snoop is the better rapper. There's really no such thing as the better rapper, man. We got all entities of different artists that's going to bring their own artistic value to the means of bringing artistry to the world that all of these artists is going to bring and going to achieve millions of our um, fans that's listening to their style. That, you know, you might like this artist, I might like that artist. And uh, who's the best artist? Neither one. They all unique in their own fashion. They all bring a certain entity, a certain energy to the people that everyone is going to love. So when we start trying to put limitations on who's better and who's not, they're like, yo, who's better? The Harlem Knights, yo, when is the greatest? Yo, God is the greatest. Never that. We both great in our own fashion. Who's the best out of the um, locks? Who's the best out of Grandmaster Flash and um, Furious Five or the Crash Group? They all unique. They like a, 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 a organized force together that brings that uniqueness to everybody. So we got to stop putting limitations on who's better, who has more money. And the money don't mean shit. Money is a piece of paper. Money is nothing. It's made from these trees. Money is made from the planet. And we talk about who has the most this and that. This shit is obsolete what we going into on that fashion, man, because we all are part of the same entity, man. And uh, when we realize that, you know, we realize that we all are great. And we have to stop saying, uh, you know what, well, who's better? Whites, the blacks, the Mexican, the Latino, the Jamaican, uh, whatever culture we are. Man, we all unique, man. If, and if we can figure that out and come together and organize, you know, we have the president saying, man, Kim Jong, Man, yo, 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 you know, we're going to take them to war. We're going to do this and that. We're going to take care of the situation. Man, when has it come to that when we can't sit down and talk and congregate together as people and sit there and say, well, you know, I don't like this about you. Well, I don't like that about you. And we can all sit there and come to an educated conclusion that, hey, Okay, we all the same, and um, maybe we can fix this about this situation and fix that about that situation. Now, we have a unique understanding to make a condition better than what it is. But when it comes to, yo, I'm going to throw missiles, yo, only the weak fight. Fighting is for the weak. You can't use your mind to come to a conclusion that we can come to a better situation and create something better for these kids and show these kids that we don't have to fight. We don't have to be ha show hatred towards each other to the point that it's gonna come down to violence. In humanity, that's the worst. That's the, the, people talk about the devil. The devil and God, the devil don't exist to me, man. It's us who exists. And we bring about that evilness. But if we can sit there and realize that, you know, we all are the same and there shouldn't even be nothing about, yo, this and that and this and that. Man, we got hoarders. We got people that's homeless. We got situations that shouldn't even be because of the standards. And when we deal with standards, we have the richest and we have the people who like, yo, we got to do this and we got to do that. We got the best technology in the world that can create everything for everybody. Shouldn't be no manual labor when we came up in our own minds how to...